What's up, everybody? Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Uh, I just kicked back and relaxed for the day. Alrighty, so I only got a little bit of a mail day. Uh, a lot of stuff you guys know is hung up everywhere. Post office has pushed out due to COVID-19. There are a lot of places that are at like 50% strength doing the uh, movement and stuff. So you see stuff that gets lagged behind. My best thing I'm going to tell you what to do because I had a PSA order stuck in Louisville forever. Uh, and I'm talking like two, three weeks. I put a missed mail thing in and I just hammered them, kept hammering them. And finally, after like two or three days, it moved the whole way to where it was supposed to go. Don't know if that's a trick or not, but hey, let them know. There's packages sitting around way too long. I mean, if it's sitting there a day or two, it's probably going to be annoying. When you start hitting like 10 business days, that's when I start getting worried. So basically, uh, these two cards here cost me about... Mm, I'm gonna say about 145 150. This is a Razzlin, had two spots. It's a Joe Burrow Prism rookie. It looks uh pretty good overall. It does look like it's off left to right. I was looking at it and top to bottom a smidge. It'll probably come back a nine, but I think he's gonna be good down the road. Um, when I pulled the kit up to it, the left and right was in variance onto it, up and down, depending on how they're going to end up grading up and down, because I've seen them pretty, pretty crazy so far. Um, it can really go either way onto it. Uh, back looked pretty good for centering and condition-wise and stuff like that, so we'll give it a shot. Even if it comes back a nine, I mean, it'll be a hard nine, but as you guys see, stuff can go any which way. We had two spots, one that. Then I was in a break, I was in a serial number break about, I don't know, two weeks ago when Immaculate came out. And I just had a feeling that there was going to be something into it. I lucked out because I had two uh, sets of serial numbers. And we got it. Justin Herbert. True RPA out of 99, 88 out of 99. Very, very, very beautiful card. I've looked this over. There is a sleeve on top of it. He knows how I like to have my stuff shipped to me. Um... I don't know. I might grade it with uh, Beckett. I, I'm really curious on to it. I don't know if I'm going to leave it raw or not. This is basically PC until one day when it's doing some stupid crazy numbers because of uh, he, he's actually a great young quarterback. One throughout the year, I have a lot of belief in him. You guys know I hyped him up since uh, oh, what was a draft when I pulled his cracked ice auto out of it, uh, Contenders Draft. He was the one I thought would be the sleeper out of them all because everybody was Tua and uh, Burrow. I thought he was going to be good, and I also picked Love and Easton out of them. So I spent 118 bucks at that. I think the sales were like 22 to 25 and this was a while ago on to it. Very nice card. So I figured I'd share a little bit of a mail day with you all. Um, that's all I got. I got other packages stuck elsewhere, so could never know when it'll come in. I at least wanted to get some kind of video out to show you guys. I've still been doing stuff. I'm about to send a PSA order off here, and I'm going to be spending some money on it because it's not going to be no uh, uh, value because cards are definitely going to grade out at least one of them, so I'm just going to send them all in and spend the upcharge already on to it. And those should probably come back. They told me once they receive them, they have one to ten days to get them logged in. And it was looking like it was about two months turnaround till uh, they were shipping out to people. The time that they were saying that they got logged in the system. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have some good fortune, good luck. But I got to get some of the bigger cards that I've been holding down here out and graded. Um, I was hoping the value would come back. But a lot of these are going to be over the $500 mark for when economy comes back anyhow. So we'll just roll the dice, spend a couple hundred, spend about 10 cards out. For 500 i know craziness huh but hopefully we get a couple tens out of it all i'll look them over pretty good and stuff maybe we'll do a video what i'm going to send out the psa with a little extra money um that's really about it so i've done well with herbert this year you got the prism rpa this this prism a bunch of mosaics uh pc little cold over for him is going to do well if I get an NT and flawless and a serial number break, I, I've had an excellent football year, to be honest. And this was the probably one of the best ways to cap off 2020, uh, was hitting this right here. It, it was just phenomenal to end the year out with something like this here. I, I don't think I've really, I've hit a couple other, ra one other rads that's coming in the mail. I'll show that when it gets shipped out. I think he was going to ship it Monday, so it'll probably take two weeks or so to get here.
Baronet, everybody, if I don't come live uh, before New Year's Eve, guys, stay safe out there. You two girl, ladies, I should say, I was going to say gals, but then it went to girls in my head, then the ladies. Make sure you guys stay safe out there with whatever you're doing. I may come live for a little bit New Year's Eve. You guys can maybe watch me drink a white claw behind the camera. Ugh. I don't know. We'll see. Other than that, take care. Have a good holiday. Uh, we'll see you guys definitely for sure when the new year rolls around. Product is skippy until about the middle of January. Uh, we got a little bit of a hot, was it? Heritage High numbers. I think what it was called coming in next week. Maybe I'll pick a little basketball box up or some way open New Year's Eve, start New Year's off. Do it like midnight or something. All right, guys, take care. See y'all later.